Okay, so Lamborghinis, private jets, and Michelin star meals. We all want that. I get that. That's why in today's video, I'll be going over how much Cardano do you realistically need to become a millionaire or at least to make a lot of money. So I'll be going over a beautiful spreadsheet that I've made, some fundamental and technical analysis, and a lot more. So stay tuned and watch to the very end. My name is Tom. This is the Crypto Busy channel. Leave a like, it really helps us out. And on top of that, stick around, subscribe today. So that all being said, Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so jumping straight into the video. Now, the first thing that pops out for me is that Bitcoin dominance. It's 61.7%, so it's oscillating between 60 and 62% for the time being. Bitcoin's price alongside with Ethereum's price is doing relatively well in the immediate short term, which is good to see. We're seeing Bitcoin test and tease those new all-time highs. Same with Ethereum as well. I'll be going through some Ethereum technical analysis on top of this as well. Interesting times ahead for Ethereum, and this will dictate where the rest of the market will go for the next few days and getting into the next few weeks as well. But interesting times ahead, that is for sure. So just to break it down and tell you what's going to happen in today's video, I'll be going over, again, I've just gone over the market pretty much. I'll be going over Cardano, doing an overview. Interesting news as well. Ethereum and Cardano technical analysis and rounded off some fundamental and on top of that, that spreadsheet that I talked about, uh, which, which is a great calculator. You know, it's probably the, the best calculator ever invented, I would say. I, I'd like to venture to suggest. So <laughs> we'll go through that later on in the video as well. Stick around. Make sure to leave a like as well. Very much appreciated. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. It's a great crypto community on there. We're nearly reaching 14,000 members and followers on uh, our Twitter. And on top of that, 14,250 members on our Telegram group chat. Great crypto communities on both. So we'd love to see you over there as well. So let's go into Cardano and the recent price action for it. It's doing relatively well. Again, like with the rest of the market, good price action throughout last month and getting into this month as well. It reached all-time highs. And I think we're just seeing it cool off just before we see the next leg upwards, the next movement upwards. It's a positive movement for the time being. Um, I think there's a lot of good things happening for Cardano. There's a lot of things I have questions for as well. One of them being, we need to see applications built on top of this platform. It's all well and good seeing as many people stake Cardano and get involved in Cardano and trade Cardano. That's great to see. You want to see that. That helps the project. It helps everything else that goes around that as well. But fundamentally, what will help this project succeed is to see many applications built on top of the platform. I want to see a day where we have things like, you know, for example, there are other cryptocurrencies out there built on top of Ethereum. I want to see as many, if not more, applications built on top of Cardano and Polkadot and others as well. Because it fundamentally, it's, it's amazing technology behind this project and many others out there as well and they, you know they're competing very well with ethereum so it's, it, this whole year is going to be so interesting for the cryptocurrency community for the world as well so you know stick around because it's an interesting time that's that is for sure anyway let's go into interesting news as well jpeg file sells for 69 million dollars nft mania gathers pace this is absolutely insane 69 million dollars uh, you, you kind of wake up and you think, well, what are you going to do with that money? You know, I'm sure that, you know, that we have a good idea of like what you would do. And also be sure to check out Josh's video that came out yesterday, which discussed what would you do with your money once you've sold your crypto and where would you do it next? What would you go through? But there's an interesting one. I'll leave this one link down in the description below. Do comment down below your thoughts and opinions about NFTs, about this particular one, $69, $69 million. What would you do with that? Uh, that is really interesting for sure. Let's go into some Ethereum and then also some Cardano technical analysis interesting times ahead for these two particular cryptocurrencies. So we've seen Ethereum gather momentum recently in the past few days. It's testing the 20 EMA. I think it is now pretty much tested at 20 EMA. So I do expect to see a certain movement upwards to continue this shorter term, the shorter term trend line for Ethereum and test this $2,000. It's just teasing us those $2,000, that new all time high for Ethereum. And this will dictate where the rest of the market will go including Cardano. So it's Cardano all-time high was around sort of $1.55, $1.54, something like that. So it's interesting times ahead for Cardano as well. I keep on saying that because it really is, um, you know, I'm very passionate about that as well. Another thing that I want to pop out as well, or make sure that I mentioned here, is this is an important one, is that Cardano has broken this trend line, a very strong trend line um, over the past few months really since the end of january and going up into um you know where we are now it's now broken this really powerful and strong trend line so in a way this is good we could see it retest and realign our targets to see where do we think things are going to go for cardano in the next few weeks and also months this is really important here so we'd realign our targets first of all i would say is something like this happening here are we seeing some form of wedge 
forming with the all-time high that you can see at $1.55 and this new trend line that we're seeing right now, sort of a weaker trend line compared to the previous trend line, are we seeing some form of wedge form here? Now, if this were to be the case, and this trend were to be confirmed, you know, by going up and again, and then, con you, know, con you know, consolidating and, and correcting to this trend line. And then, you know, as we go into April, could we see this happen? Could we see a wedge pattern forming? And then from that, we could see a breakout from that wedge. Could we see that happen? Maybe, I don't think it is as likely as what I do think is going to happen next. And that will be what we're seeing right now is potential test of this 20 EMA. It's broken the 20 EMA, so we could be seeing a test of the 90 cent, maybe the 93, maybe the 95 in the immediate short term. Again, if there were to be some form of corrections as we go through these days, through the weeks and into the months as well, we have to understand the micro perspective and the macro perspective. The macro perspective is that I think Cardano is going to reach all time highs of $2, $3, $5, even further than that potentially in this bull cycle that we're seeing right now. But we have to also concentrate on what's happening in the immediate short term in the micro. So that is where I do think we could be seeing it test this area here, you know, a lot of good stuff has happened for Cardano's price over the past few months. You can see it's absolutely exploded since pretty much January of this year. And that's really good to see. You want to see that. There's not much technical resistance here between the 40 and the 70 cent. But again, I do think we need to see corrections as we go through this bull cycle. Because if we see it go from zero to 100 in the space of two days, that's not good because the higher the rise, the higher the fall in the shortest space of time. And you'll see a lot of new investors out there get really burnt out from that. And you don't want to see that at the end of the day. So I've highlighted these key areas. I always keep on talking about it. So we'll see corrections as we go. But again, we have to look at what Bitcoin's price is doing right now. The momentum is positive. So we just have to see what happens with Bitcoin's price and also with that, with Ethereum's price in the next few days and going into the next few weeks. And that will affect the rest of the market. But at the moment, I'm bullish. I'm very happy with where the market is going. Healthy price action as we go ahead. Now, if you want to get a further understanding of what's happening in the market and get that competitive edge that you thoroughly deserve, be sure to check out all the links in the description below. And on top of that, join our Crypto Busy VIP Coin Calls. It's all on Discord. So make sure they have Discord. It's through Patreon on Discord. There's many different servers on there. We go through fundamental and technical analysis on there, but there's also webinars that Josh and I do every single month where we go through the market in much further detail. And also it's an opportunity to interact with you, the trader, and you know, it's an AMA style webinar so you can ask us any questions about the market, about our portfolio, and much more information about that as well. With the VIP coin calls gold, there's more um, you know, benefits that come with that as well. And you can read that more on the website. Again, I'll leave the link to all in the description below. Be sure when, when it comes to trading, be sure to check out all the links in the description below with that as well. You can see that we have Bybit and many others as well that you can check out and join up and, and sign today if you're in the relative and correct <laughs> constituencies. But let's go into some fundamental analysis and then also go into this fun spreadsheet that I've made especially for this video. So I'll be going through that as well in today's video. I'll, I'll leave all of the articles I go through in today's video, links down in the description below. So again, you can see here Cardano price hints at 25% breakout from consolidation phase. We've seen that consolidation, could we see it go down a little bit more? I wouldn't be surprised if it does, but I'll be picking up some more around the $1 area if it does reach $1. If it goes below $1, I'll be picking up some more there, that's for sure. But again, if we see that breakout, we could be seeing test new all-time highs in the immediate short term, which would be really cool to see. Native tokens are Cardano. This, this is really important in my idea. This is, in my opinion, really at the end of the day because we want to see native tokens on Cardano built on top of Cardano. Applications as well, real world analysis and real world use case of this particular cryptocurrency. This is what I want to see. You know, We've seen the potential it has. Now we want to see how it is tested in the real world. And that's where, at the end of the day, that's where it separated itself from the competition. And I do think Cardano is capable and has that potential there as well. And that's where we get into the price predictions and also how much do you really need uh, to become a millionaire or to make a lot of money. So I'll leave, again, I'll leave these articles links down in the description below. Really important stuff. Um, and again, do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions about that. But let's go into some really fun stuff here. Let's, let's sort of go into the world, you know, separate yourself from the trading that you do every single day or the analysis that you do every single day. And let's go into the land of speculation. Let's speculate just for that little bit and see where things can go. You've seen the price predictions, Cardano to $2, to $3, to $5, maybe even further than that as well. I'm sure you've seen other people out there say a bit more. But let's keep things relatively conservative for this year, for this bull cycle. So let's say right now we're starting with a thousand Cardano, a thousand Ada. 
and its current price is one dollar and six cent just for the time being it, it will change over time price always changes but let's assume right now that it's one dollar and six cents so right now that is around one thousand and sixty dollars so that is right now a thousand dollars it can do a lot it's a lot of money it's a hell of a lot of money for a lot of people as well and you can do a lot you know you can go to, to a nice restaurant for once maybe you can invest it and you know you can do many things but it only goes so far you know you want to maybe buy some property or you want to go to some stocks and, and live off the dividends there let's talk about that let's let's go into that part there this will take time and i think the important question you have to ask yourself is what is the monetary value amount what is the amount that i want to have acquire to do what i need to do so if you have ideas and plans in mind then work towards that so if you have an idea that you maybe you want to buy a new car i would suggest doing that before buying other things as well but let's say you want to get into property Think about the deposit that you need to have for a house to rent house. For example, there may be people out there that say you need 25% deposit of you know, the average price house. But let's say, let's assume that the average price of a house is $200,000. So 25% of that would be $50,000. So what would I need, you know, what would I need in terms of the amount of Cardano and its price to maintain a $50,000 deposit for a house to then rent out? Again, I'm just assuming these figures here. This may differ from person to person and from time to time. So do, do bear with me as I go through this as well. So $50,000 you would need essentially, you'd essentially need 48,000 Cardano uh, at the current price that it is right now. And so that is a lot of money. That takes a lot of time. One way of getting into that would be, you know, dollar cost averaging over time. You know, look at the cash flow that you might have. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just me speculating and what you could do with it as well. But let's say that you didn't have 48,000 Cardano. Let's say you had only 10,000 Cardano. That is still $10,000. It's a lot of money again. But let's say it went to you know, $3.50 in the next bull cycle. That is $35,000. So to get to that $50,000 mark, you'd only need, let's say, let's say 15,000. Yeah, around sort of 15,000 Cardano to get to that $52,000. That's an example, okay? Just to you know, put a deposit on the house, to then rent out, to then live off the uh, the rental income that comes from that. You're now a landlord. All of these important things. But let's go further to that. Let's think, well, okay, I don't want $50,000. I want to become a millionaire. This takes time, dedication, and not many people get to that stage. But let's say that you want to get to that stage and you know, you're adamant that you will. First of all, that's 150000 Cardano, if you hold that amount, that's already half a million. So let's say, let's again, in the land of speculation that Cardano did go to $7, you're already at $1 million there, okay? Do I think Cardano will go to $7 in this bull cycle? Potentially, if we see a crazy bull cycle, but I do think throughout this year, I think Cardano can top out around three to five dollars that sort of region i realize that it's quite a large region there but again there's a lot of money that can be made in that sort of region there so let's go on to the conservative end of three dollars that is half a million dollars essentially but to get to a million you would need around sort of three hundred thousand wouldn't you? you need sort of three hundred thousand tokens that's nearly nine hundred thousand so let's say you need a three hundred and ten thousand that's nine hundred and thirty so we're talking you know maybe a bit more three hundred fifty thousand now we're talking sort of a million there so it's up your to your interpretation. So you have to, I think the first thing is you have to set a monetary value amount of what you'd need to do what you need to do. And if you don't know what you need to do already, then again, check out Josh's video that came out yesterday about crypto exit strategies. As much as we love crypto and it's the next big thing, we also wanna make sure that we diversify because that is how you maintain the monetary value. It's very volatile. Crypto is very volatile and you wanna make sure that the money that you create from it and you know the, the, the capital that you generate it is not eaten by inflation or the you know the, the, the fluctuations in the market. You want to make sure that it's a stable income. So also look into those things as well. Hopefully it made sense in today's video and I talked about the things I needed to talk about. Um, but there you go. It's an important thing to be aware of. And again, we have a lot of you know information on the Crypto Busy channel. Again, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if I've missed out on anything or you'd like me to talk about things in future videos. All comments are welcome. We allow free speech on this platform. All articles are linked down in the description below. If you're new here, subscribe. Also make sure to check out all of the links down in the description below, including our VIP coin calls. Join our Telegram group chat, follow us on Twitter. And that's pretty much it for me in today's video. So yeah, that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.